Hiya! And welcome back to Heroes Advent. The game that teaches us that... Getting electrocuted by a giant crystal is the best way to get magic powers. This cat will not leave me alone. He has been up my ass for the past... I don't even know how long. It's been almost 24 hours. Anyways, let's just hop right in. Uh... Wait. Yeah, we already read all that. Oh, no. It was very unsafe for him to accompany you here. In fact, this was probably the first time he's escorting you to your room. Both remained silent the whole way through, at least until you arrived at the door. Oh no, he just keeps purring. Like, like, what he'll do is, like, I'll be at my computer, like, working on something, and then he will get onto my lap, and you would think, oh, he's just going to stay on my lap, right? If he would have just stayed on, if he would just stay on my lap, that'd be totally fine. No, no, he proceeds to climb, gets onto my shoulder, then positions himself like a parrot, and th he's doing it right now. Motherfucker's doing it right now. He, he's just like, gets all up in my personal space, will not leave me alone. I'm just like, what, what are you doing? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. What are you doing? What are you, can you stop? purring in my ear can, I, can you stop doing that do not take my headphones they're mine go lay down on the bed well thanks for today alex sure thing well good night good night dave don't forget if you want to run if you want to learn some magic meet me back at the lab i'd like to run some tests on you too sounds good ah, actually i almost forgot hmm yes I did some reading sessions at the guild's library today. Oh, really? Surely you didn't just waste time sleeping in there, I hope. Uh, of course not! I did read a bunch about this world, but if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some more questions, too. Well, I suppose. If you just want to ask me what the meaning of life is, then I'm afraid you're just wasting your time, Dave. And no, it's not 42. Hiya. A cat will not leave me alone, Raj. He will not leave me alone. What are you doing? If if you're going to climb into my lap, that's totally fine. But if you're going to proceed to climb up my shirt and then suffocate me with your fluff, then please don't. What? No! Nothing like that either. I guess I'm kind of curious about the different places in this world and the people too. You seem quite savvy on that topic. M maybe you could teach me a thing or two on that front? Huh. Truth be told, I never expected you to be this interested, Dave. Very well. I'll look forward to our discussion whenever that would take place. Same here. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you at the lab then. Nah, nah. Apparently, my cat is in heat. He won't leave me the hell and he won't leave me the fuck alone. Don't you fucking start. Don't you start. I will cry. I will fucking cry. Same here. Well, guess I'll see you at the lab then. Uh-huh. See you. And with that, he's gone. You cleaned up and prepared to go to bed. Having walked around the city all day long, you were already exhausted and fell asleep before your body even hit the bed. You opened it to see a message from Max asking everyone to group up by the lobby. It might be a parrot! Cat, are you a parrot? No, he's laying down on my bed right now, just vibing. You went through your morning routine before heading off, when the device blinked again. It's a new message from Alex. Good morning, Dave. I hope you've had ample rest last night. I'll be counting on your assistance again today, so please go out with me. I'll talk to Max about what, whatever he had planned for today. It seemed Alex required your presence once again, except... Wait, did he just ask me out? Guess I'll ask him about it later. You headed to the lobby after a moment.
God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Hiya. You could see the others already there when you arrived. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Dave. I have something prepared f good for you. Wait, yeah, we already read all this. Fucking good. You'll be going with... <clears throat> hmm? You got something to say, Alex? Yes, so I'll be needing Dave to tag along with me this time. Is that so? What for, though? I was thinking of training him today. Well, you do know that a mercenary requires both his brawn and brain to excel, no? I can take care of both of that, so Dave should be in safe hands. You're going to train him, Alex? Both body and mind, yes. Sounds like fun. Oh, I swear to God. I swear to God, Ray. Ray. Ray, I swear to God. Ray. Ray, I swear. Ray. Yeah, I have a feeling, but no, no. Ray. Ray. I swear to God, today is not the day, and you are not the one. Mm, okay, if you insist, just make sure to train him well. And do be careful, yeah? I don't want anything happening to him or you. Of course, you have my word, Max. And Dave, whichever requests you decide to take, I'll be lending a hand as well. Ah, oh, shit. Alex is going to be helping us with requests. Ah, oh, shit. We're gonna have Smart Boy. Ah, oh, alright. Thanks, Alex. I guess that settles that then. Stay safe, Dave. Call me on the phone if you need any help. Hardly necessary, but the sentiment is appreciated. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. I'll be on my way to the park now. Good hunting, guys. You're dismissed. Right. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Guess that better go as well. Ah, that's right. One more thing, everyone. Head to my lab tonight after you're done with your thing. Yo, you're hosting a slumber party, Alex? Festin would love that, you know. You wish! Anyways, I'd like to test something with Dave. You guys might want to see it, too. Mm, okay, we'll be there. Sure. Yeah, no, like I got better, better places to be. <laughs> you alright, Rai? Yeah, I'm good. That should go. See you when I see you. And with that, the guys went on their separate ways. Well, let's finish up whatever you're doing here so we can move on with my tasks, Dave. Lead the way. First up, request board. You want to check the request board? There's some quests available. I need help moving some things here to help me out at the market. Yes. Help! Some slimes slipped through the old mine's entrance and are wreaking havoc on the supply sheds. Yes. Go to the library once. Get it to the guild's library. Alex seemed rather taken aback at the sight of it. Been a while, huh? You okay, Alex? Yeah, it's nothing. Actually, Dave, do you actually frequent the public library? Um, no, not really. I do see it a few times when I got, first got here last week, but I've never really got the time to visit it. They do have quite the selection of books here. But of course, we put in the words for them to maintain the library at least decently, though I can't say the same about the book variety these days. Although, just, anyhow, just do your thing. I'll be looking around some as well. Just don't spend the entire day in here. Right, I won't. You haphazardly picked a random book from the shelf. This one reads, Introduction to the Flora and Fauna of Central Woodland. Quite curious about the title, you decided to skim through the first few pages. The book prefaced that while the old continent is rather temperate, as such off offered a lot of sprawling woodland, Though the one in the book is chiefly focusing on is the rather mysterious region, Kaelter of West Galland. The name Kaelter, short for Kaelich Coeter, meaning Kaelic Woodland, was described as an even denser forest, somehow shrouded in vegetation all year long. 
Locals were described as a friendly yet eccentric bunch, often seen partaking in what were often regarded as voodoo rituals in worship of their deity of nature. Most of the entire most of the entires of this book are said to have been first-hand accounts of the Kelter locals. Makes sense that they're the most knowledgeable about those things after all. The actual subject of the book kind of went over your head as you went through some of the various encyclopedia-like entries. Some of the creatures and plants seemed similar to the ones you remember seeing with Elisa, though. You decided to take a break from reading for now. <sighs> the cat is back! And he's right beside me. You decided to head to the vacant training room. Strength! Focused on your muscle strength tra strength for set for the session, exercising for a while before taking a break. Feel stronger now. Agility. Focused on footwork and sidestepping, exercising for a while before taking a break. You feel more agile now. Endurance. You focused on your endurance, exercising for a while before taking a break. You feel more durable now. Well, that's all I can do here for now. Probably should check my phone and see how the others are doing. Request reminder. We got two requests at the market and at the old mines, and this cat will not leave me alone. Crystal Courier, zero new messages. Private broadcast, Max. Dave, do you need any help? Any assistance? No, no, I'm just checking you up. Ah, I thought you need my help. Well, I'm kind of occupied right now. I'm picking up some weird smell around here. Huh, okay. Call me when you really need my help, okay? All right. Stay safe. You too. Huh? Is your phone broken, Dave? Why are you calling me? Just wanted to test something out. Right. Come on now, Dave. Stop messing around. Sorry. Why are you climbing me? I'm not a jungle gym. What are you doing? Go get, get, get down. Get down, you small one. Dave, I'm still on my way to the market. You need something? If not, then call me later. Later on, I'm almost there. He ran away. Uh, hello, Dave? I'm quite busy right now. Call me later, okay? Okay. Alright, where to first? Uh, the mountain, the... No, he like ran somewhere next time he decides to climb me i'll turn on the webcam uh the docks the giant fucking crystal i know the beach the market the mines The mines or the crystal? Let's do the mines. You made your way to the towards the outpost. Seems like the place the request mentioned. Do you want to approach? Yes, and he's back. You approached the main outpost building. There were several guards stationed out front. Most of them looked anxious as ever. Halt, stitch your business, sir, Sir Alex! Have you come to personally deal with the slime infestation? No, I'm only here because Dave here took your request, and I've agreed to help him out. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? And, goddammit, he's climbing me. Alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, he's, he's climbing me right now. Here, here he is. What are you doing? What are you doing? D I, I, no... No. 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 What is your damage? Yes, I know the microphone is in the way, but here he is. This damn creature. What what are you doing? What are you, can I can I can I can I get back to what I'm doing?
can I can I get back to what I'm doing? Am I allowed to do that? Get get, get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. No. 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 Don't don't climb me. No. No. Go, go lay down. Lay down, buddy. No, I'm only here because Dave here took your request and I've only agreed to help him out. I uh, still good to have you here with us. Are you serious? Can you can you leave me alone? <laughs> you have been up my ass for the past 24 hours. Like, I'll just be walking by and he'll just randomly jump up and latch onto my shirt and refuse to let go. And I'll be like, dude, what the hell? No, you can't have my stream. It's my stream. No. Hi, sir. Still good to have you here with us. Wait, so you said there's a slime infestation here? Indeed, lad. Quite a few of them slipped past our guard into the warehouse. Oh, weren't there others stationed close by? Yes, sir. Though most of them have gone to the cave to investigate. There are just a few of us here. We wouldn't dare going in without some reinforcement. Fair enough. Lead the way, then. Hi, right away, sir. Over here. Keep your distance in case they get jump they jump to the gate. As the guards opened the way to the warehouse, you could already see dozens of slimes jumping about within. All right, all right. I will pick you up. I have no clue. You're my brother. All right, all right, I'll pick you up. I'll put you on my shoulder, but you have to stay on my shoulder. Okay? No suffocating me again. As the guards opened the way to the warehouse, you could already see dozens of slimes jumping about within. <laughs> That's a lot of them! Inconceivable. They're already multiplying. I swear to God, if you start suffocating me, I will cry. All right, all right, get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. No, lay down. Lay down, buddy. Lay down. Wait, how did that happen? Look around. The whole place is so disorganized. I can see them feeding on all these crystal fragments on the ground. You guys seriously just lugged everything on top of each other and called it a day, didn't you? Are you serious? He developed a new strategy. No, no, stop. Stop whacking the mi my microphone with your butt. Are you serious? He developed a new strategy to keep me from doing this. Crawling onto the desk. You have our most apologies, Alex, sir. We'll make sure to tidy up the place after we take care of the slimes. Do not crawl into the- I swear to God- No. No. Don't even think about getting on the laptop. No. 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 Fine. I'll give you belly rubs. Will that- Will that satiate your anger? Let's satiate your need for love if I just give you belly rubs the entire time. You have utmost apologies, Alex Sire. We'll make sure to tidy up the place after we take care of the slimes. As you should. <sighs> you guys take that side. We'll handle ours. Understood, sir. Come on, Dave. No time to waste. <sighs> this damn cat. He's... He's laying down on his back. I am like. We are all weak as hell. Is this hard mode? This damn cat. Eh. No. 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 <laughs> I gotta keep him away. <laughs> but he isn't wanting to cooperate. No, no, 
No. <laughs> Can you, like, not jump on the desk? That would be greatly appreciated, mister. That would be greatly appreciated. <sighs> you just want love. No. 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 Can you... Can you... Do you... Do you constantly feel the need to climb me? Can you not stab me in the throat with your claws? That would be greatly appreciated. Can you... Can you... No. 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 Can you... Can you stop doing that? Just capture it by the back of the neck and take it down the table. Keep an eye on it. Gotta keep an eye on him. Damn crazy cat. <laughs> I think he just wants to help. <laughs> I have a theory that he just wants to help. Yay, we won. It was a tough fight, but you felt stronger. That should be the last of them. Are you guys alright over there? I will fine, sir. We're grateful for your help. Right. Whew. Don't even think about climbing up the la- No. Ooh, that was a lot. Good thing we intercepted before they could form a nest in the warehouse. And what if they did form a nest there? We'll have to burn this place to the ground if that's what it takes. Damn. I'm glad it didn't come to that then. Alright, I'm checking Discord. But no, like, that, that cat, no, don't even think about climbing the desk. Oh, they are adorable, Amethyst. They are adorable. Damn! I'm glad it didn't come to that then. So am I. As you both headed outside, the rest of the guards slowly returned to the old caverns. One of them yanked, one of them thanked you personally and gave you two gold coins as compensation. After splitting the reward evenly, you, you both left the outpost. Seems that you're done here. Yeah. Uh. Better check out on the others. Wait, can't go. Alright, to the giant fucking crystal, the marketplace, the docks, or the beach. I just cracked my back and it felt amazing. To the marketplace! Yay! You decided to go to the marketplace. You arrived at the address specified in the request. It turned out to be the be a blacksmith's place, judging by the weapons and armors adorning the walls. You could immediately feel the heat of the forge washing over you as you stepped inside the place. Hey, watch it now! Don't stand up front like that! You stepped back a little as the elderly avian tending to the forge waved his hand against you. Oh, sorry, my bad, I didn't see you there. And to think I'm supposed to be the senile one here. Ah, that's right, I take it you young'uns are here to help, eh? Yes, sir, I saw your request about moving some things around. What's that all about? Well, you see, Sonny, with all the recent commotions, all of my apprentices have gone back to their families for the time being. I, on the other hand, still need the business. I mean, a lot if someone could move these oars and process goods around. Gods know how much rest my back could use by now. Well, Alex? Of course. Let's help the old man out. Right. Well, don't worry, sir. We'll help you with this. That's wonderful! Now, can you both help me with these first? You both helped the old blacksmith moving some boxes and the crates filled with ores and various gear that he made. It was quite the workload and the heat from the forge didn't help, but you managed to finish up after a bit. Yay. You felt stronger and tougher afterwards. Uh, Alright, that should be it. Quite the workout, no doubt. 
<laughs> Grateful to both of you. Say, you're also tougher than you seem, Sonny. Yavin said as he gave you a pat on the back. Quite smart, too. Uh, oh! <laughs> Suppose you need something to keep things balanced, especially for a man of your stature. You're too kind, sir. I still need formal training to become a proper mercenary. Mercenary? Uh, those were the days. Listen, son, I didn't know who you are, but you and your friend took the time to help this old smithy, and that only makes your hips better than many out there. So keep your chin up and keep going forward, all right? Now, let's not forget here for your troubles. Spend it well. Thank you, sir. I don't know what to say. Think nothing of it. You boys should be on your way now. What a nice guy. He is. There's lots of respect to be shown for hard workers like him. Well, let's get going. And hey, watch that crying boy Cody told me about. Uh, yeah, let's. It seems there's nothing more that you can do here. Better check out on the others. Alright. To the docks, giant fucking crystal, or beach. All we do is cry. <sighs> Dog. Beach! Ah! You've arrived at the beach. This is no time for a vacation, Dave! Let's not waste time here. Yeah, you're right. Seems like the beach is clear. Better check out on the others. Alrighty, to the docks or the giant fucking crystal. I have plague with a fidget cube. Why are we here, Dave? Do you want to go sightseeing that badly? Why not? We still have work to do. Cody would agree, too, we're here right now. Speaking of Cody, I don't see him anywhere. He might be busy asking around or probably already returned. Let's just go back, Dave. All right. Have a good night. Okay. Looks like you're done here. Better check out on the others. To the crystal! You arrived at the Vitrum Park with Alex. All right, we're finally here. Let's head to the Guardian Crystal. I got some analyses to run before we return. Max is around here, right? Shouldn't we see him? What, to help him out? And that's quite thoughtful of you, Dave, but I believe he can handle himself just fine. I guess, but it wouldn't hurt to just say hi, would it? Dave, we're running on precious time here. If Max needed help, he'd contact us first. Now let's just double time it to the Crystal. All right, then. Asshole. You followed Alex through the intersection of the park, passing by the patrolling guards at the plaza. There were a bunch of merchant stalls and food courts set up there, but most had very few customers. You felt a little bad for them. Their business is suffering because of the recent turn of events, no doubt. Good night. Ah. You quickly made it through to where the Guardian Crystal was at. The guards let you in this time without even so much as raising an eyebrow. Must be because you're with Alex now. Hey, this isn't the time for sightseeing, Dave. Come and help me set up around the GC. Ah, okay, sorry. Alex wasted no time to bring out his devices as you helped him set things up around the crystal. There were a bunch of wires and cables, but he didn't attach any of it to the crystal, rather just using what seemed like a sensor of sorts to do the monitoring, which he placed below the GC. Oh no, he's hot! Oh no, he's hot! You still hear the gentle hum and chorus-like sounds coming from the crystal itself. All right, initial readings seem nominal. Dave, come here. Huh? Don't worry, I won't make you touch the crystal again. Just want to test something out. Uh, all right, then. You approached as Alex took some circular pads with wires from the equipment bag and applied it to your head. I feel like one of those things people would use in the hospital to scan your brain, or at least you remember seeing those in movies or games. It took a moment to carefully attach the things to a smaller crystal before tur turning on the monitoring devices. Right, how curious. He was scribbling down on his notepad while keeping an eye on the device. What is it? Hmm, the calculation adds up. If I'm not mistaken here, your brain is in sync with the crystal. Really? Indeed, look at the patterns. He glanced over to the device, which showed two sets of graphs on top of each other. They seem to match evenly. They're identical? Yes, which means they're quite perfectly synchronized. I haven't quite seen anything like this. Is it impossible? It's possible, but largely in theory. Several ideas come to mind as to how this occurred, but I'd need more data to confirm any of it. Hmm, what about the crystal you gave me? Oh, that? We'll save it for later. I'd like the others to see. Okay. 
So what about the recent incident? Do you know how it happened? With the GC? I've got several more theories for that, though I highly suspect that someone must have tampered with it to lower its harmonization coefficient. Co- what now? It just means the GC was rendered ineffective, or rather, inactive for that brief moment. But you did say the crystal was still intact, though, right? Apparently so. Now it leads me to believe the tampering was done via indirect means. How did that even happen? And apparently the crystal glo glows blue when you cry. Well, that's why we're here, to figure it out, yes. The only thing I've gathered so far is that sudden temporary shift in harmony frequency harmonic frequencies the Guardian Crystal experienced. Hopefully the others have also learned something helpful to our case. I'd hope so, too. I've still got some more data to sift through. <sighs> You just be on standby, Dave. All right. You looked at the feline as you went full focus on monitoring the data, his hand moving back and forth on the notepad as you flipped over pages after pages of notes. You suddenly recalled the message he sent you in the morning. Do you ask him about it? Do we ask him about the message he sent us this morning? The cat is back. Hello. Hello, young one. No. 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 So, uh, Alex? Hmm. I saw your message this morning. Were you asking me out? Yeah, I asked you to go out with me. What about it? Go out with you, like, on a date? What? What makes you say that? Uh, well, sorry. I thought you meant something like that. Maybe I misunderstood. Well, let me get one thing straight. I asked you to help me out with my research. I guess I wouldn't end up being a date if you'd like. Huh? You said something, Alex? Nothing. D just keep that thought out of your head, all right? It's very distracting to this line of work. He is such a tsundere. And I'm not Rai. I'm just here to do work and not fooling around with people. You got that? And why would I go out with a guy that constantly cries? Get back to my parents. They are, like, asleep right now. No. 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 You know what? You know what? I'm putting you outside. I'm putting you outside. Come on. Come on, we're going on an adventure, we're going on it. No, no, no. Why are you so insistent on climbing me? Why are you so insistent on climbing me? It, it'd be appreciated if you didn't. It would be greatly appreciated. Why are you so insistent on it? Why? Why? Go, go lay down. I swear to God. Did he just... What the... F what the fuck? He just... Why is he so toxic? Why are you toxic? He just like... Burst open the door. No, you can't climb me. I'm not a ladder. He just burst the door open. How? What is that? Can you stop whacking my microphone? What are you doing? Go, 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 go. And I'm not Rai. I'm just here to do work and not fooling around with people. You got that? I understand. I'll keep that in mind. Still, if you're not going elsewhere, let's get lunch together after this. Y yeah? Yeah, I just still treat you to something for tagging along with me like this. But it's not a date, alright? I'm just treating you to lunch as peers. <laughs> it's alright. Thanks, Alex. Anything I need to do right now? Just stand by. I'll let you know if I needed something. Alright. You sat down at a nearby bench as Alex continued working. Occasionally asking you to pass him an equipment or two. I swear to God, if you climb me. You're cute, but you're not that cute. Don't, don't climb. Go, go. 
he is not one month old. He is way older than that. He's like a year old. Eventually, he switched off the devices as he set them back into the storage boxes nearing nearby as you both left the area. Afterwards, you both headed to a food stall nearby to have lunch before heading back. Looks like you're done here. I swear to God, if you climb this be this desk. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to deal with you in a semi-permanent manner. Blanket. Nope, you are not escaping. You are not escaping. You're going to gay. You're going to gay baby jail. Nope, you are not escaping. You're not escaping. I just dealt with him. No, no, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. He escaped. He escaped. You escaped gay baby jail. And now he's giving me a death glare. Don't, don't, don't. Looks like you're done here. Better go back to the guild then. After you made it back to the lab, you helped Alex rearranging some of his gadget and equipment around the lab while he continued sorting through some of the data he gathered. Hmm, this won't cut it. Dave, come with me. I'll need your help in the research room. Uh, oh, okay. And no, he is definitely like a year old. Actually, I wanted to ask, where's Festin, Alex? Him? He's probably upside doing some paperwork run for me. Oh, about what though? The usual stuff, filing reports on my behalf, requesting permits for future research projects, that sort of thing. Anyways, go there and keep an eye on the graphs for me. And will you? I need to keep track of the data transfer myself. Alright, wait, what am I looking out for? Just let me know if any of the values go out of bounds. And how do I know that? Oh, right, just keep an eye on, any, on the color indication. Any abnormal coloring usually means something else is going on. Ah, I gotcha. And so you sat down and got to work, or at least just doing what Alex tasked you with. So far, the graphs on the screen looked normal. The numbers and values on the sides of the display fluctuated no regularly, but never showed any abnormal changes. Alex mentioned, no, 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 you know what, you know what, I'm dealing with you permanently. I'm dealing with you until stream is over. I'm going to deal with you. I'm dealing with you. You know what, you know what, no, 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 I'm dealing with you. I just put him in a closet. I just put him in a closet. I am going to let him out. So far, the graphs on the screen looked normal. The numbers and values on the sides of the display fluctuated regularly. We never showed any abnormal changes Alex mentioned. You did notice quite a bit of notes and diagrams on the other side of the desk with your name on it. Must be Alex's stuff on you thus far. You felt like you're having a better time grasping the data you're working with. It was similar to just solving math problems, but a lot more straightforward. You felt like you've learned a lot. You continued working until you both returned to the main lab to take a small break. Then the door opened as you see Ray entering, also ma with Max and Cody following along not long after. I am horrible at taking care of them. There you are. You sure took your sweet time. It's pretty late by now. It's not even night yet. It's, that's just how we do things. The sooner the better. Right. Well, now that we're all here, we have something to ask, right? Hmm? What is it? Do you know the type of fertilizer that people at the park use and where it comes from? You know what? I'm going to go get them. I'm going to go get them. I feel bad. I'm going to go get them.
know what, you know what, you know what? I'm going to deal with this cat the same way my brother deals with cats. I'm going to deal with this cat the same way that my brother deals with cats. And it's a very simple way that he deals with them. Buddy, come on. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. He is now having the time of his life in a hoodie. Of course, it's the high end one from the same supplier I frequent with. They make the best fertilizers in these parts, even have their own mix for specific types of plants. Interesting. Well, I found this at Veteran Park today. Max handed him a clear bag with something dark in the middle. What's this? A bag of soil? Here. Just take your face out. Just, just a little. Just a little, mister. Yup, it has traces of nether particulate inside. Really? Let me take a look. Alex grabbed the bag from Ray, took the soil samples from it, and put it into one of his machines. And scanning. Results should take just a moment. Well, I can be so sure there's something inside. It's a hunch, Ray. Just trust my ability. And what if you're wrong? You didn't trust me at all last time. Look, Ray, I'm sorry for that, okay? I was just looking for reasons to doubt your assessment. Of course. I thought you've already forgiven me on that. Oh, I have. You just don't forget something like that that easily. Anyways, moving on. I think I know what you're getting at here, Max. And if what you suspect is true... Those people at the park might be explaining the plants as... Phytoremediation properties to form chunks of nether crystals. Yep. Wait, if I... What now? Yeah, I was about to ask too. Phytoremediation, it's how plants absorb and extract minerals and heavy metals from the ground, which will accumulate in their roots, trunks, leaves, and even fruits. So, just like the Yamatos that I planted? Yeah, but that's kind of an extreme example. I doubt they'd do that with these plants. Beep, beep. The results are in. Seems like Max was right. There are definitely traces of nether crystals inside the soil. Still well within the guild-regulated levels, though. Hi, buddy. No, no, not on the desk. Cody, this has gone on, this has gone far enough. You need to stop telling people about Dave's constant crying. Now that you mention it, the plants they have at the park, pretty sure those were all supplied from the outside. And they all have that property you mentioned? They do. In fact, most of the plants here are. It's part of a lyrics plan to purify Crystal Coast soil so we can grow our own crops and not rely on imports. But how did the nether stuff got into the soil in the first place? He's refusing to let me go. Like Max suspected, it might be the fertilizers they use at the park. They apply regularly to the plants there, kind of exactly around the GC, actually. Right? It does add up when you think about it. And if this keeps going, eventually all the plants there will be full of nether crystals. Well, not exactly. It's not possible for the soil to be full of nether dust. You see, they still check the soil regularly to make sure the amount of impurities remain regulated. It'll take a significant amount of these to fully destabilize the GC, unless... It has been planted ever since the crystal was first built? They all look at you in mild disbelief. What? D did I say something I wasn't supposed to? Not at all, it's just... It's a very bold claim, Dave, but I wouldn't discredit it. Might sound crazy, but if you think about it, it does make sense. It's a very small amount spread evenly across the land. The accumulation rate is not constant, like a very slow trickle over time. That might be how it's remained hidden right under our nose for so long. And when concentrated, it's strong enough to disable the crystal long enough for the likes of that slime monster to slip through. We need to let the guild know about this. Someone needs to act fast. 
And what, make them cull every acre of grass and trees in town? That'd take weeks, months, or even years to do that. What we can do right now is to find the source and destroy it. Then we can deal with the problems we have right now. If we just leave the nether particulate to fester, all it takes is just one concentrated burst and the GC might go down for good. Damn, this is bad. Yeah, a lot worse than I thought it'd be. That's why we need to put a stop to this. Okay, keep saying we, but who in us can actually do something about this? Well, Master Alaric has given us full permission to apprehend any suspect, right? We should try again with the... No, 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 no. We should try again with the investigation tomorrow and suss out the ones behind this mess. Sounds good. Alright. Again? <sighs> well, fine. Might as well go through with this, that at this point. That's a spirit. Glad to finally have you on board, Cody. Yeah, seeing the tavern doing well without me does ease my worries a bit, I, so I guess might as well. Ah, uh, that's right, Alex. Didn't you have something to tell us about Dave? Oh, that. Well, basically Dave can use magic now. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You cannot just drop the bombshell and not elaborate. Better than hearing Dave's constant crying. When did that happen? When did that even happen? Yesterday, long story short, I made him touch the Guardian Crystal and it actually resonated with him. R resonated? Indeed. Nothing happened when most people touched it, including me. But for him, it caused an energy surge and overcharged him. That? That sounds really dangerous. Granted, it did inflict system shock on him, but nothing fatal. And it also unlocked his elemental attunement in a way. That's really interesting, but what do you want to do with him now? Test the water, see how far his new abilities can go. Simple. Are you sure that's safe at all? Seriously, Rai, you've worked with me long enough. You know safety is not guaranteed in this field. But worst case scenario is that Dave will implode on himself. Whoa! Alex. Jeez, what are you all looking at me like that? It's not like he's going to implode. Or explode. How come when Rai jokes, jokes around, it gets laughter out of you? And when I do, I get scorned by you guys. Alex, we don't mean... Whatever, just help me clear up the room. We need some space for the testing to begin. The others started moving stuff around the lab to make a sizable empty spot in the middle of the room. Alex then set up a metal dummy in front of you. Now, as I said this morning, I made you a crystal specifically tuned to your body's frequency. Uh-huh. What should I do now? Take a deep breath, relax your posture, close your eyes, and concentrate. Try to get a sense of your surroundings without opening your eyes. You followed his instructions, taking a deep breath and closing your eyes. It was difficult to actually relax your posture, given that you felt quite self-conscious standing in front of the whole crew, who were probably staring at you anticip in anticipation. Though this quite reminded you of all those meditation techniques people told you about back then. As everything quieted down, you could even hear your heart beating faintly. Now picture your heart as a center, the very core of your energy. Picture a stream of light coming out from it and coursing through your whole body. Now let this flow of energy invigorate you. Now put your hand now put both your hands in front of you, palms forward. Think of how the energy would flow there and concentrate into a ball in front of your hands. Good, good, you're starting to get it. Uh, okay, what next? Open your eyes. You opened your eyes to see a swirling orb of light in front of your hands. Whoa! Whoa! That's amazing. Is that what I think it is? It is. I said I found traces of something unusual inside him, right? It turns out to be ether magic. Has to be. Could be leftovers from the dimensional magic involved in taking him here. So he really is a hero? If you believe in the prophecy, which I don't. Yeah, he might have this newfound unusual power, but what good is a dented fork among the other good ones? Heh, <laughs> what good is it, huh? Alex, I... Guys? Hmm? Well, what should I do about this? He gestured towards the ball of energy, which was pretty small just a moment ago, but now it's grown bigger and bigger. Uh, what in the name of- Can you stop channeling? It's getting bigger because you're feeding it more energy! Uh... You tried- You tried hard as you may, but the ball kept expanding and there wasn't any sign of stopping. It's- It's not stopping! Uh, oof! Uh, Ryan, right, get in front of him! Are you nuts? I'm not that invincible, you know. I'll form a wall in front of him. Cody slammed his feet to the ground. A stone column rose from the floor in front of you up to the, into the ceiling. That should do it! 
and trap us all here with that thing? What the hell, Cody? Uh, oh, damn, I didn't think that through, did I? Well, no time to bring it down now. Just get behind the desks. Quickly, go! Guys, it just keeps getting bigger. What should I do? Damn it. Ah, uh, think, Alex, think. Okay, try shooting it towards the stone wall. But how do I do that? Uh, same deal. Just picture the motion and will it. Uh, okay, I'll try. Despite panicking, you managed to briefly compose yourself and pictured the energy ball moving towards the stone column Cody raised. And much to your surprise, the orb did begin to hover away from your hands, very slowly but steadily towards your target. Dude, what are you doing? He has been subdued. He is laying down very dramatically. And now he's climbing me. Again. Why? What is your obsession with climbing me? Very slowly but steadily towards your target. Hey, it's working, guys! I think I did... A flash of light blinded you as the energy orb touched the column. The explosion must have thrusted you back against the lab wall. <coughs> and we're dead. As you collapsed to the ground, you could vaguely hear the others calling your name. Though that was drowned out entirely by the loud ringing in your ears. And soon enough, everything just faded to black. so cold where am i you held your arms in a shiver trying to stave off the cold of the void you couldn't feel your limbs at all am i dead we're going to leave off here tonight on the upside everything's gonna be just fine i'm already dead on the inside nobody can hurt me now on the upside having the time of my life hanging with people i don't like nobody can hurt me now nobody can hurt me now Nobody can hurt me now. Nobody can hurt me. Well, stay safe. Have a good night. And I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll be sure to post a picture of this damn cat in Discord.